First of all, we have to talk about this fashion. I know this is normally not a silhouette that I wear. It's a little bit Girl Scout and it's very short and kind of like poofy, but I loved it. It's from Patu and I thought it was really cute. I had to make it a little longer in the back because I'm on TV and I didn't want to stand up and then the crowd can kind of see things. Germany, Italy, France, one of those places. I did not want this to happen. So I'm wearing shorts underneath just in case. I love the, I love the secret. Um, I'm sure you've seen the trend. Are you feeling cutesy? demure all the things today. I know I'm seeing I know how he did it today I'm like oh no you didn't <laughs> yeah I've been seeing it feeling very demure in this very cute very elegant but most importantly very demure I mean I love it are you feeling demure are you feeling um, are you feeling demure I feel like I've been hypnotized by yeah. it all went it all went by in a flash right right how is it touching Howie's gold buzzer well, it's now my golden buzzer. Well, I don't know when is your golden buzzer well, day, but I'm going to just push it's if not, you want it's it or not you don't. who touches it, it's who says it. And I did say it first, so it's sort of mine now. No? I don't know. At the top of the show, I heard Terry say tonight it's going to be Howie Mandel who gets the golden buzzer. Yeah, but if I say it's mine, then it's mine. So it's now officially mine. If there's anyone that can change the rules... It's, 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 it's Simon. It's Heidi. It's the boss. It's Simon. It's Heidi. <laughs> no, it's Simon. It's, <laughs> I love it. Got caught up. Okay, I love it. Well, talk to me about tonight. I mean, there's so many amazing performances. The whole night was like fun. Um, I think overall, you know, everyone did what they're supposed to do. You know, they kind of stepped up their game. It was exciting. It was different. Um, and it was just like a real, you could feel it in the audience. It was like a real buzz in that. Right? Yeah. Buzz in there. Um, we're just a few shows in. Is it getting harder to choose a favor as we keep going? Yeah, it is actually, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's what I think a good competition should be like, you know? It's like certain people who you don't expect to suddenly be great are great. Um, I always feel on these shows, it's like I'm not really sure why we're here because the audience is so loud. And they're the ones, you know, whose opinion really matters. So we're just having fun. I mean, it's the best, right? And also, what, one last thing before you go. We saw your dog and Sophia's new dog, Amor, up here on the AGT, you know, doing their thing. Talk to me, are they are they playmates? Are we having play dates with Sophia's new dog? Well, Sophia's dog is like that big. My dog is like that big. Um, uh, I, 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 we were laughing, actually, because I realized that Sophia this dog actually prefers me to Sophia. Oh my God. I mean, true. I mean, she adores me. Where's Where's her dog? I'll find it. You'll see. Can you bring her by? If I find her, I'll do it. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you about tonight's performances because so much fun. Is it getting harder every single week to pick who's your favorite? I mean, the thing is, is I didn't have to pick my favorite. You know, really, it's up to everyone at home or you know the person who has the golden buzzer, and it was Howie, even though Simon pushed it. So you know, when it is my night, when Terry says, okay. Okay, tonight is your night for the golden buzzer. I think then I'm going to be a little bit more nervous because I want to do the right thing. I want to move the right person forward, you know, but we saw a lot of amazing people tonight. Totally. What do you think the highlight of tonight's show was? Oh, <laughs> Sophia's golden buzzer. I mean, uh, first of all, why are they called Schumacher? This is hilarious. They have a German last name, which I love. Um, I have no idea what they're doing, to be honest with you. I have no idea, but obviously you're laughing because it's so silly and so bad. Like, that's why I feel like it's so bad and it turns all the way back around until it's good because you're like, it's just, what are they doing? But it just makes you laugh because it's so bizarre. Right, and you didn't give them an X. Simon did. We saw the X go off. I know. I always have a very hard time doing that at the live shows. I don't know. I mean, I have a hard time. I don't know, because I feel like they, you know, it's also Sophia's golden buzzer. I don't know. I feel like rude then doing that. You have your girls back. Yes, you know, but she was kind of like, she was getting smaller and smaller, and I said to her, don't hide, Sophia Vagara. This is your golden buzzer. Be nice and proud, you know. Be proud. Be proud. Um, I saw a collab between my, t it's my dream collab, you and Paris Hilton. Music video. You have to talk to me about how you guys got involved together. Well, Bad Bitch Academy is the song. And, you know, she had many different people that were in this very particular video. And we shot it last Friday. And all of a sudden, you know, on set, people are like, the motorhome is on fire. And we were like, oh, my God, what? 
and then it turned out it was um, Paris' um, motorhome and everything went up in flame. Like all of, she had all these amazing changes, you know, people were making special clothes for her, special wigs for her, like she had all, you know, because in a music video it's always fun to give people like different looks, you know, and especially she's like the goddess of all different looks and it all went up in flames. So it was very sad. She gave me three dresses that she had, so I had them in my trailer and because she was already like everyone has to go home I've nothing to, I'm like I'm like you sent me three in my trailer to wear today so at least we can wear those you know at least we, so we can continue because there were like 80 people on set you know imagine all that money what that cost to have everyone there and so that's so scary the initial reaction from Paris and yourself and everyone who was on set was probably so scary like everyone's mouth was open chin was dropped I mean her eyes literally like tearing up and you know I said so rock and roll of you Paris <laughs> but yeah she was not into any jokes at that point. No, not at that point. <laughs> what was it like working on set with Megan Trainer, Lance Bass her Paris herself I mean so fun I mean no I know Paris for many many years she's been on my show in Germany many times you know I love that she's singing I love that she's doing whatever she wants to do I love the song when she goes I'm free to do what I want to do and I'm like yes girl you know I love her she's a girl's girl you know she'll always be someone that takes you under her wing and you know she's great I mean will we ever see you behind the DJ booth with her I would not you probably will see me behind the DJ booth with her but I wouldn't know what buttons to push I have no idea how she does this there's so many buttons and things like I have no idea you got to talk to me about tonight's performances well the performances were all great but I feel like uh that w what do you do like if I have to lodge a complaint at work about a certain co-worker but the co-worker is the boss who do you talk to no I mean tell me about that moment when he tried to touch your buzzer we each get a golden buzzer it was announced at the beginning of the show that I get a golden buzzer and then, and then he, just he tried to usurp. The word is usurp. I don't want to be usurped. No. No. They should talk to him about the situation no. that went down. Let's see if he come if he comes in. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm going to speak to. I don't know who to speak to. Okay, but on a positive note, what do you think was the highlight of tonight's show? The highlight of tonight's show is my golden buzzer. I love them. Were they not amazing? They were dancers, they were athletes, they were it's the most creative thing I've ever seen. The good news is my boss agrees with me. Right? <laughs> I love it. You can't get any better than that. We're just two shows in. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, I, I like myself as a judge. Great, great answer. That's, uh, that's my that's my favorite so far. I love it. Thank you. I, I think there's a few favorites. I think this year is uh, way up there. It's hard to choose just one, but America's gonna have to. First of all, we have to talk about this fashion tonight. Uh, you look like a golden buzzer. I, listen, I like to call this one my golden gram. You know what I mean? I love the cereal, so it's got a little milk there. It's got a little golden grams. It's like yummy, yummy. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of golden buzzer, we saw that Simon almost the replay showed that how he actually did end up hitting it what was it what was going through your mind up there first of all I understand why Simon couldn't resist that performance was insanely good he wanted him for himself the, the guy is like I can't resist any of this stuff he's breaking rules all day he's been breaking rules since the first day and so I mean hey he's Simon Kyle I guess if anybody can break him he can't I mean, he's the boss, you know. Who was your favorite act of the night? I, I got to go with uh, Air Footworks again. Absolutely incredible. And then a close second was Ashley Montagu. I mean, to actually bo go on point and ballet on top of these bottles and risk it, everything. Listen, if, if one of those things had fell over, it, we would have watched a horrible accident tonight. It's absolutely incredible. You're talking about glass. You're talking about flames. It was incredibly dangerous. Okay. And we are just a few shows in. Is it getting harder to pick a favor as we're coming down closer to the finale? Yes, it is. Because another thing is, there's the fifth judge. 
I mean, the audience goes wild, and all of a sudden, you know, you see the game changing right before your eyes. People that you thought were favorites all of a sudden are not, and then the ones that you're like, well, maybe they'll do okay. Now they're leading, and then you have to vote. Anybody who complains and doesn't vote, I'm sorry. There's nothing you can say. <laughs> nothing you can do about right. it. Thank you so much.